All right, guys, let's praise it together. With he is with me every moment always. We'll sing it nice and comfortably. All right, with he is. With he is with me every moment always. Emmanuel, who you and me every moment forevermore. Oneness, he is with every all things. Oh, yes, mighty Father, thank you. Praise you, Jesus. We are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness being with God, we will enjoy him. We are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness seeking answers, inside there we will find. With he is, with he is with me every moment always. Emmanuel, who you and me every moment forevermore. Oneness, he is with every all things. Oh yes, mighty Father, thank you. Praise to Jesus. We are, we are <coughs> with the man you are oneness. Being with God, we will enjoy him. We are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness, seeking and says inside there we, we are, we are. We are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness, being with God, we will enjoy him. We are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness, Seeking answers inside there we will find everything I have found in him. Everything I have found in so I like everything, everything I have found. Seeking and said one last time, we are, we are, we are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness, being with God, we will enjoy him. We are, we are with Emmanuel, oneness, seeking and says inside there we will find. Sing this together. V I C T O R Y. V I C T E O R Y. I have victory over my worries. V I C T E O R Y. In the name of Jesus, I have victory. I have my Jesus in my heart. He'll never leave me, never depart. He is there to protect me. He is there to direct me. V I C T E O R Y. I have victory over my worries. V I C T E O R Y. In the name of Jesus, I have victory from the top. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y I have 
Victory over my worries be I C T R Y In the name of Jesus I have victory I have my Jesus in my heart He'll never leave me, never depart He is there to protect me He is there to direct me V-I-C-T-R-Y I have victory over my worries V-I-C-T-R-Y In the name of Jesus I have victory In the name, in the name of Jesus I have it In the name, in the name of Jesus I have victory All right, let's sing that next one to God. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. Let us, let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself. And hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Let us, let us rejoice and be glad, giving the glory to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty One last time, hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. All right, next one. All right, God's love. Right, Lord, I worship. Lord, I worship you alone. And I come before your throne. You delight in me, rejoicing over me. Only by your love can I worship you. Your love breaks down every wall. Restoration you offer to all. Perfect is your love for me. Within your love I'm free. All oh, the love of Christ in my life overflowing. Flooding over me your grace like a rain. Your love, oh Lord, overflow throughout the world. May the nations know how great is your love, Lord. I, Lord, I worship you alone, and I come before your throne. You delight in me, rejoicing over me. Only by your love can I worship you. Your love breaks down every wall. The restoration you offer to all. Perfect is your love for 
me within your life I free all the glory of God above fills the whole earth. Let creation bow in all of your glory. Reveal your love through me. Let it shine for all to see. I will tell the world how great is your Every tribe, all creation will worship when they see your love through me. Oh, the love of Christ in my life overflowing, flooding over me, your grace like a river. May your love, O oh Lord, overflow throughout the world. May the nations know how great is your love. Looking, looking around us, at those beside us, it seems there is no way. This is the path of slavery. We are on our way to the spiritual battlefield, living as captives, colonized under the idol rule nation. This is the path where nobody can help us, and yet we must still walk that way. Though the path may seem so lonely, we know the mighty triune God, our God is the only way. Blessings of the heavenly throne are now the remnants untapped. We remain, we remain, we will remain, and we will live behind. Where the pilgrims who will go save the field transcending time. Best place. We will overcome darkness into three seven and in the five thousand tribes. Heavenly power, heavenly talent, heavenly mission. This is Looking at our, looking at our God and to the future, we can see the way. For we are cultural conquerors, going onward to claim the spiritual victory. This is the path to save kings and captives and idol worshippers. And we are walking the path here before us, needing no help at all today. On the path it's only God who's with us. We know the mighty triune God, our God is the only way. Blessings on the heavenly throne are now the remnants twenty-four. We remain, we remain, we will remain, and we will leave behind where the pilgrims who will go, save the field transcending time and space. We will overcome darkness into three seven and in the five thousand tribes, blessings are blessings of the heavenly throne, and of the remnants untapped. We remain, we remain, we will remain, and we will leave behind where the pilgrims who will go 
sing the future transcending time best best will overcome darkness into the seven and in the five thousand tries This is us, heavenly power, heavenly talent, heavenly mission. This is us. We haven't sang this one in a while, but let's close our eyes and let's pray to the Lord bless you and keep you and be gracious to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn His face toward you and give you peace. Sing that again. The Lord bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you. Be gracious to you, Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. Let's close our eyes. God, may you bless our remnants. May you bless all of us. Through today's time of worship, may we be able to experience the power of the heavenly throne, your background upon us, Lord. May we be able to know that you are always working because you are with us and you are guiding us and you work in all things for the sake of oneness, for the sake of Emmanuel, for the sake of being with us, Lord. Uh, God, may you break down all the force of darkness at this time. May you bless our hearts and our minds and allow us to be able to open up our spiritual eyes and our ears to be able to receive your message deep inside of our hearts. We thank you so much, and we love you. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Apostles' Creed. Open up to Apostles' Creed. I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. In Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He was seated at the right hand of the Father, and will then come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the whole universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Bye. Person who is blessed, three, two, one.
Love the Lord three to one. For better missions, three, two, one. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing, Jesus' witness. Raise a banner for the nations. That. Hold on to this. And do that. Not that. Through that. Pass through that. Prepare that. Build that. Remove that, raise that, for that. God posted us on that, never that, never that. Give God that, never that. Communicate with God through that, because we're this and that. And that, and that, that, oh, break that. And centered on that, that really centered on that, save that. Not that, not that, definitely not that. What is that? No comment. Why testify the gospel? Why, Manny, why? Why testify the gospel? Feet down. What is that? Can I move on? Moving on. Acts 14, 15. Three, two, one. Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. Let's turn away from worthless things. We're strong remnants. We're not weak sauce. We didn't train you to be weak. Let's set the summit life through worship culture. Not culture of skipping worship all the time. Let's set the summit life through worship culture. It's worship, not nap time. Worship culture, summit life. You're busy? Nice. All the more reason to worship. You're exhausted? Oh no, all the more reason to come to worship. Can we move on? Moving on. We're so influenced by different cultures, right? There's so many cultures in this world that we fall into. What kind of, what kind of cultures do you young people fall into? Not just young people, everybody. Music culture. Movie culture. What kind of movies influence you? What kind of music influences you? Techno? Classical? 
Opera, hip hop, rock. What kind of movies influence you? Action movies, adventure movies. Someone's dreaming about romantic comedy. Prince Charming, you're, you're dreaming about Prince Charming? Mm -hmm. Social media, Tic Tac, Facebook, YouTube, oh definitely YouTube. What else? Insta? Chirp, chirp. What, social media says do something, so you do it? Social media trend. Throw paper towel in the bathroom, and the kids do that. Social media trend. Put fake blood all over the bathroom, and they do that. They did that at my school. Social media. What kind of culture influences you? Different cultures of different nationalities? People come to America and what do they want to, what do they want to copy? White culture, right? Even us Asian people, we want to be white, act white. Black culture, dress like black, black culture. There's the student, and he sags his pants all the way down here. I have to see his boxers. He's showing his booty all over the school. Why? Hip hop culture. K pop culture. You see all these people dyeing their, their, the ends of their hair. Their hair. Why? K pop culture. Kim pop culture. Right? Or what are there other people doing? Eyeliner. Whoop. Why? K-pop culture. Fashion. Fashion culture, right? Best fashion here. Obviously the person with this shirt. Trends. People follow trends all the time. Popular. What's popular? Popularity goes up, trend, but then time passes and it goes down. That's trends. Those are fads. Up and down, up and down. Don't be swayed by that. Popular culture. Everybody wants to be popular. The dominant group's culture, right? What's the dominant group in America? These days, Hispanic population, right? That's why they're making movies like Encanto and Coco, right? Because it's a dominant culture. There's more, the population is bigger. What, what was it back then in Hollywood? A couple of decades ago. All movies, were there different nationalities in different movies? No, just white people, right? Dominant groups, culture, we try to follow them. In the 90s, hip hop culture. So everybody in the suburbs, Rich, spoiled kids, they dress hip-hop culture, right? These days, kimbap culture, right? What kind of culture are you in? Punk? Punk hardcore? You sleep to heavy metal music? This is not funny, this is hardcore. Hip hop culture. Hip hop culture. Right? It influences us. Gamer culture. Oh, game, game, game. Video. These days, broadcast culture, vlog culture, right? Game broadcast culture. Athletic culture, sports culture. You do sports, you're popular. Goth emo culture. 
emo, goth. Always in the corner drawing and cutting themselves. I never said it was you. This is just examples. The fact that you're overreacting, that means it hit home. So maybe you are emo culture. Aunt culture. Hippie culture. Peace, dude. Peace, love, and unity. Yeah. Broski. Peace and love. Pride culture. These days, everybody pride culture. Pride culture. Everybody's so prideful. Even in Chicago, pride parade. They do huge parade, thousands and thousands of people. They come and they do pride parade. Yeah. Grown muscular men in miniskirt. All right. K pop culture. These days, what culture influences you? K pop culture. K pop music video comes on YouTube. How many views in like two hours? Over 10 million. People all around the world in just one hour, new K pop music video, millions and millions of you. Wow. K pop culture. Right? So famous. They were on, like, what is it, BTS. They were on American talk shows. And then they went and talked in White House. What the? Famous. <laughs> Valley girl culture. Oh, totally. Totally. Yeah, they're influenced by culture. These days, re religious culture. Gandhi culture, Muslim culture. Religion becomes culture. TikTok culture. Bunch of lame. YouTube culture. 13 million views. What the? Miniature food. Yeah, these are cultures that influence us, right? What's my Babel Tower? Remember, this is our homework. List all things that block us from worship. We destroy it and take a picture of it. Two people already did it. We'll look at them later. We keep building up our own Babel Tower, right? Things that block us from worship. What? Good grades. Why not come to Remnant Worship? School next day. Why? Grades, right? Who cares about grades? Us remnant, our remnants are so smart, even if you don't study, you could still pass. Yeah, no big deal. Everybody who emphasizes good grades, they grow up to be sassy pants anyways. Arrogant sassy pants, who thinks they're smart, smarty pants. Arrogant, self-centered. Lots of uh, smart people, even in my school, these students, so smart, but they're sassy pants, right? What's my Babel Tower? Always winning, win, win, win. Why go to practice sports? Win, win, win. Our parents put us in sports programs. Why? To win, 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 win. Our co the coach does bad, quit. Don't, don't work with that coach. Why? Because I want you to win, win, win. That's Babel Tower. Our career, right? What do you want to be when you grow up? Space Cowboy? Space Cowboy? Power Ranger? Firefighter? Why should you be Power Ranger? Pink Power Ranger? Career, right? We stake our lives for a career. Success, right? 
we're going to be successful. People will do anything for money. Can you, what's more important, your life or money? Yeah, you can't even put a price on life. Some people, very, they think they're useless. And they actually sell their life for money. Being recognized. Isn't that Babel Tower? It's all about me, 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 me. Do you like standing in front of people? Some people, very, people like to stand before people and be recognized. Who cares? Fame, being famous, famous. You want to be famous? Do you know how many? Do you know how many famous people take their own life, or they're very miserable? They don't like being famous. They want to be famous. Once they become famous, they don't want to be famous. Explain that. Happiness. Are you happy? You want to be happy? Happy all the time? Happy, happy, happy. Friends, you want lots of friends? Family, family becomes Babel Tower, right? Us remnants, we got to be strong. If our family is blocking us from succeeding in worship, then isn't that what the Bible said? Family will go against family, right? Remember, the enemies are in their own household. If your family members are blocking you from succeeding in worship, pray about it. Comfort, being comfortable. Worshiping in the comfort of your house. That's comfortable, right? Business, money, money, money. These days, people starting their own business or joining business, right? Why? Because they, want, they need something to do. Money, money becomes a Babel Tower. There was a famous pastor, and they're building church, and he's like, I have lots of money, but I, get to, I don't need it. So he sold his houses and his cars, and he's like, ah, that's still not enough. So he borrowed money from the bank, and now he owes money. Do you know who he is? Pastor Yu. Pastor Yu, he sold his houses and his car, and he borrowed money from the bank. Now he owes money. What? Peace of mind. Well, he, he probably kept one house. Peace, peace of mind, right? I need to relax, right? So you go on vacation. Charity, right? Oh, I have so many things, but I feel empty. What should I do? Oh, I know, I'll help people. When you help somebody, does it make you feel good? Yeah. But then, it's still all about you, right? I helped you. The future, right? We keep thinking about the future, planning about the future, right? The Babel Tower? Oh, I want to help the children. I want to help the future generations. People do that. Teachers do that. What else? Rich people, celebrities, they do that. Athletes, they do that, right? They give money to help the kids, but are they really helping them? No, they, you, they just give them supplies, right? It was you know, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is super rich, and he's like, you know, I want to help the kids. So he built schools all over the place. But then do you know how the schools are doing right now? Not so good. Not good. My kingdom. I'm in charge. Babel. Your assets, what you have, right? There's this one, one of my teacher buddies. What is it? On the smartphone? 
he collects was cryptocurrency, crypto, right? Bitcoin, Dogecoin. Uh, these days it's a, uh, what is it? NFT? NFT, NFTs, non-fungible tokens. <laughs> and he has, he collects money, he looks at the stock, all that stuff, assets, right? Is he happy? No, he looks miserable still. Your property, what do you have? What's your property? What do you own? Your home, your car, your dog, what you have, right? Your gold, me, we, me, we're our Babel Tower. We should have drawn, our, we should have drawn ourselves on the paper and then destroyed it. There was this one remnant, he did his homework, the Babel Tower, he crumpled it up and he put it in a shoe. Got that right. One remnant did her homework and she crumpled it and threw it down the stairs. And she took a picture as it was falling, but she couldn't get it the first time, so she had to do it multiple times. Oh, I missed it. Run downstairs, go back up. Oh, I missed it. There's no way it was during the first try. Right? Right. Last week we talked about gospel cannot be blocked. They went, Paul, as usual, Paul and Barnabas went to Jewish synagogue. But then these Jewish people who refused to believe kept poisoning the minds of the Gentiles against the brothers. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know what? Paul and Barnabas is bad, he's bad influence but they still share the gospel. Since they were sharing the gospel, Jesus allowed them to do signs and miracles. And then there was a division, right? They got some bad characters, tried to stone them. But they found out about it. Remember, even what you plan behind closed doors, children of God will find out through guidance of Holy Spirit, right? Like you could think something, you could talk about something behind my back, but then if Holy Spirit works, I already know what you did. I already know what you thought, right? Behind closed doors. You could talk about evangelists, whatever, behind their back at your own house, but somehow we still know. Work of Holy Spirit, huh? So let's not do that. Their journey, and they continue to preach the gospel. But so many things block us from worship, right? Our thoughts, our scars, our trauma, our friends, family, school, work. One of my teacher friends, she's old now, like 40 some, 48, 47. Her grandpa, her grandpa started a Chinese church in Arlington Heights, close to here. She founded it. And then for years and years, she was Sunday school teacher. But then because of work and because she's doing so much work in church that she got burnt out. And now, she left church, she left the Chinese church, and she married some white guy, had children, but these children kept, are having mental and physical problems. They're always in hospital. And I just met with her this week, right? always in hospital. And she, why? And then she doesn't even believe in Jesus anymore. Why? Because she was too stressed out in church, too much work in church. No work of Satan, huh? Maybe she, I don't know if she really knew the gospel. So I'm like, oh, I don't know how else to help you. Right? She doesn't do Bible study, nothing. So I just gave her a book, Evangelism Material. I don't know how to help you. Here's a gift. Yeah. And then I have to pay for it. 
I have to pay. I have to pay. I took advantage of the material. I have to pay $10. Remind me if I don't. Right? Sports. The person you hate. Your partner. Entertainment, technology, your goals. I, me, myself, and I. Satan. It's all it's Satan. All Satan's master plan. But through power of gospel, we could overcome all of that. Let's live life of gospel, right? Succeed in worship. Well, PPP of word, prayer, praise, evangelism, offering, fellowship, church. Would you have a love for the church? Like coming here? Lord's Day, every day, Lord's Day. Right? Heart for worship. Right? Life of evangelists. See everything with eyes of the gospel. Hear everything with ears of the gospel. And today's message. Reason for testifying. Why testify the gospel? In Lystra, there was this guy. He's so lame. His legs doesn't work. His feet doesn't work. He couldn't walk. Crippled. Crippled. Lame man. So lame. He was born lame. Right? He couldn't walk. In Lystra, there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth, and he never walked, ever. Now, Paul and Barnabas were in town, and he listened to Paul as he was speaking. Who is allowing him to listen? God opened his ears, right? You guys could be here, sit down, listen to a message, but you're not really listening, right? You know how... Your teacher say something, and then you're like, oh, wait, what? Teacher's like, all right, write this down in your agenda. Your homework is page 241, numbers 4 through 15, odd numbers only. It, guarantee one of you are going to be like, oh, wait, what, what's homework again? Right. God opened his ears. Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had faith to be healed, and he called out, stand up, up on your feet. And what happened? No, he got up, right? Work of Holy Spirit. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lysenia, the gods have come down in the likeness of men. So everyone, they looked in Paul and Barnabas, and they're like, oh, he's a god. Uh-oh, this is bad. Because in this region, do you know who they worshipped as gods? The Greek gods. Zeus, Poseidon, and all that. So, the crowd, they thought Barnabas was Zeus. And they thought Paul was Hermes, the messenger. Hermes is the messenger guy who speaks. Burr, 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 hear ye, hear ye. So, Paul's the one who was speaking. So, they're like, oh, Paul must be Hermes. And Barnabas is Zeus. What the heck? Yeah. So what they did was they got a bull and they got wreaths and they wanted to sacrifice to Paul and Barnabas because, he, because they're gods. The priests of Jupiter, a.k.a. Zeus, yeah, they named Jupiter after Zeus or Zeus after Jupiter, planet Jupiter whose temple was in front of their city. They brought ox and garlands or wreaths to the gates and would have, they tried to sacrifice them, the entire crowds. Now, Paul and Barnabas are like, no, what are you doing? Why? What are you, why are you doing this? And they ripped their clothes out of frustration. Rated R. And Paul and Barnabas are like, when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and they ran among the people crying out, friends, why are you doing this? We're human like you. We're bringing you good news. What's good news? Jesus Christ. Telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God. Right? 
Remember we went over all those examples of Babel? Babel? Who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. We're only human. We're only talking about the good news of Jesus being the Christ. The create and turn back to God or turn back from these worthless things back to God. Right? Let's turn back to God. The creator of heaven and earth. Right? The creator God. Now in the past, he left all the nations alone, but there's always evidence. He always proved that he's there, right? He gave us rain. He gave us the seasons. He gave us food, kindness, rain from heaven, crops in their seasons. He provided with plenty of food, fill your hearts with joy, right? Just look around us outside. Our food, look at the grocery stores, Whole Foods, Walmart, wow. And he's talking about Christ, right? Turn to, turn to Christ. And everyone's like, nah. And they still try to offer bowls to Paul and Barnabas, aka okay, Zeus and Hermes. And then next week, we're going to talk about what happened right after this. It, it's going to blow your mind. Don't read ahead. Why testify the gospel? Why? Why do we need to talk about gospel? Why talk about Jesus being the Christ? Por qué? Because we're, everyone's creating God's image, right? We know the promise. We know what happened in Genesis chapter 3. Deceived by Satan. Separation from God. Sin, curse, Satan. This is not just some people. This is everybody. Don't be tricked. Original sin. Culture of Nephilim, age of Nephilim. It's worse right now. It's worse today. Tower of Babel. Oh, this is so bad. It's so bad that churches are closing down in America. They look down on churches. But there are some desperate souls, right? Some, some people got prepared. People are slaves, captives, colonized, suffering from six states of non-believers. My teacher friend, oh my gosh, so bad, so bad. On the outside, you can't tell. You talk to them, oh, non-believers life, full of this. So don't be tricked. And what's the answer? Only Jesus, the anointed one, true PPK, prophet, priest, king, the way to meet God, set us free from law, sin, and death, destroy the devil's work. We have to accept this Christ into our hearts as our Lord and Savior. That teacher friend of mine, I'm like, ah. Oh. I don't know how else to help you. Here. Right? Except, hopefully God works to accept Jesus in her heart. Seven states, I mean, no, seven blessings, right? Indwelling guidance, working of the Holy Spirit, answer to prayer, force dark and broken, mobilization for angels, citizens of heaven. Why testify the gospel? Plus. Jesus told us to, right? What's our mission? Make disciples of all nations. Spiritual healing. Strengthen the discouraged. Save the future generations. Witness to the very ends of the earth. Jesus gave us a mission, guys. Enjoy Jesus' life, power, healing, witness. Break down our Babel. We have so much Babel. We keep building Babels. Homework was draw or list your Babel tower. 
take a picture of it, send it, destroy it, and then take a picture of the destruction. Somebody did this. Netflix film, Benji, March 16th. Okay, this is all the Babel Tower of Benji. Satan, you built Satan? And he destroyed it, yeah. It's probably in his shoe right now. Sure. This remnant, Addy, just doing Addy things. Babel, she spelled Babel wrong. Tower, food, sleep, phone, play, fun, school. And then she threw the school and phone down the stairs. She circled it. It's the, there, there it is right there. Yeah, yeah destroy Tower of Babel. Let's pray for Sudan and Morocco. Sudan, 91% Muslim. Morocco, the entire state is Muslim. Whoa. Let's pray for these two nations. Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Sudan and Morocco so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. Dear God, may you bless our precious remnants. Help us to... Be influenced by a culture of worship. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.